Hey guys, this is Collar here, bringing you another installation for my Blast from the Past series. And after listening to your opinions and um, asking you guys what you want to see next, I decided to do a series that has been called by many the greatest series in StarCraft history. This is the OSL Finals in 2001 between Slayer's Boxer and Grimtil two of the players who are indisputably the best players of their time, and I've read opinions from uh, several forums that this was one of the greatest StarCraft series ever played uh, in terms of its micro, its surprises, and there's just a sheer skill involved. So I'm very excited about doing it. Um, at this point, Grimtil is going for his second OSL title and Boxer is going for his third. Uh, Grimtil being Protoss and Boxer, of course, being Terran. Um, so yeah, I know the results of this whole series, but I haven't seen these individual games and I'm very excited to be doing them. The first map here is Incubus, an old school four player map. And we have here uh, Grimtil spawning in yellow at the 11 o'clock position. And we have, I believe, Boxer spawning in blue at the 5 o'clock position. Uh, this map, just to go over it quickly, um, is a four player map with spawns in the corners. Uh, each main uh, base has one natural expansion that's quite difficult to hold. It's on two bridges leading to um, just a passageway towards the middle and uh, there's very few resources at it. I think only five mineral patches. There's island expansions at the 12 and 6 o'clock positions and there's land expansions at the 3 and 9 o'clock positions. And the central area has a, a central platform that's connected by many bridges, sort of um, a very open map. And uh, this could favor either player, I feel. Um, Terran gets a lot of mobility and uh, can really position himself well at the passage leading towards Protoss' base. But at the same time, Protoss can really flank the Terran quite well in the middle. And we'll see what these two champions, these two legends of their time, uh, can produce for us in this first game. Um, the statistics for it are basically even between Protoss and Terran. And um, we see here a pylon and a supply depot going up in the respective bases. Um, of course, back then the style of play was for a more low resource game, as we've seen in um, previous series from the times, such as Boxer versus Reach or Boxer versus Yellow. And I don't expect this to be very different because the natural expansion is fairly difficult to hold, and since it has few resources, it makes it almost less. Um, Less, less profitable to get in the early game, especially if you're attacked. And there's a fairly easy to hold choke point here. And we see Boxer building his barracks on the choke point. Uh, really would uh, slow down the zealot push here. And we'll see what Grimto is doing. He's also building a gateway sort of on, on the choke point, also possibly to create a choke that would make it more difficult for Boxer to rush in with, say, vultures. And we see Grimtil scouting with his uh, first probe here. He's going uh, for, to the wrong position here at the 1 o'clock, but I think he's going to be scouting Boxer next. Boxer still hasn't scouted yet. And uh, Grimtil nowadays is actually a pro StarCraft commentator. He was just doing the uh, GOM TV uh, Star Imitational a few weeks ago uh, alongside Tasteless and uh, several other Korean commentators. Um, and he's retired since from the pro scene. Boxer, of course, hasn't. Um, both these players went through the Air Force. Uh, Grimtil. Uh, really had to break off his uh, StarCraft career to go to the Air Force also, as is Boxer, of course. And Boxer is building a first Marine here, and it's not going to be out in time to prevent this probe from scouting his base. Uh, Grimto does have a probe inside Boxer's base. He's going to see his factory going up, and uh, he's going to he's going to see the gas, of course, has gone up, and uh, the Boxer's gone for a traditional build here, a mechanized build against Grimto. We, we're, we aren't seeing the uh, Medic Marine rush, at least, that Boxer did against Reach, um, if you watch my series. That was from, actually, I think the next OSL or two OSLs after this, so this was even earlier than then. And uh, Grimto has his Cybernex core up and just one gateway so far, uh, so we're seeing a really fast tech from uh, Grimto here. If he doesn't build another gateway, I'll expect him to go uh, one, down one of the tech trees, prob uh, possibly DCs or, or drop. Uh, those would be the two options. Um, Probe's still alive in Boxer's base, still running around. Boxer just has one Marine. He looks like he's building a second Marine to possibly just help in his defense or kill off his probe. And he does have the probe down. A Dragoon being produced for a Grimtel, um, and he's going to try to shoot this SCV down and put him some scouting. Uh, looks like a robotics facility is going up for Grimtel, but he didn't manage to kill the SCV before it scouts this robotics facility, so Boxer will have an idea of what's going on here. I'm expecting Grim to go straight for drops here. Um, Oh, it looks like Boxer's building a supply depot be behind Grimtol's uh, <laughs> behind Grimtol's mineral lines. I don't know what that's for. Just to maybe keeps uh, just to annoy Grimtol, or maybe just scout that area a little bit longer. It's quite interesting, actually. Um, Grimtol is known for uh, 
for actually hiding tech buildings and hiding gateways uh, around the map. We haven't seen that, of course, in this game yet, but that's one of the things he's famous for, so we'll, we'll be uh, keeping an eye for, out for that in later games. Looks like he's sticking with one gateway here, and actually he does have a pylon on the bottom of his base, so maybe he's trying to hide a robotic support bay there, but looks like Boxer's scouting towards that direction. Direction um, Observatory going up for Grimtill, and I have a feeling that Observatory is just there to, uh, it, uh, he purposely placed it there for Boxer to see, um, and perhaps he is going for a robotic support bay at that uh, hidden pile on this bottom of his base, but Boxer's getting a second command center. He's going for an expansion, uh, and now he's got three Marines and a tank. He's about to push out here, perhaps seeing that Grimtill only has one gateway and hoping to catch him before he gets any further attack. Grimto also moving down with the Dragoon here. And Boxer's uh, three Marines and a tank are going to engage this Dragoon, Dragoon now in the center. Um, and uh, this one Dragoon is forced to retreat here. And it seems that Grimto has had probably uh, wants those observers for vulture mines, but it seems that Boxer isn't going for that right now. Grimto is uh, getting his range upgrade at his cybernetics core, and looks like actually Grimto uh, not going for robotic support bay. He is just going for the observatory, which is uh, quite standard actually in the Protoss versus Terran. It's uh, a standard build, not not too much of um, a risky build here. And he's getting two more gateways. Um, I've yet to see an expansion for Grimto though, and he's going to fall behind Boxer if he doesn't decide to go for his secondary soon. We'll see if Boxer decides to go for his secondary, or perhaps even go for another patch on the map, considering his secondary secondary only has um, five minerals patches, it may not be worth it. You may decide to go for another main base or uh, another, I don't I guess an island expansion actually might make sense also. The island expansion has more patches, eight patches compared to five. Uh, first observer going down for um, Grimto, and actually Boxer does have mines, so it was a smart idea for him to go for an observatory first. Um, Boxer, of course, is well known for his vulture play, and Boxer actually has a starport down here off of one factory and an engineering bay going up, so Boxer looks like he is floating towards his natural expansion. I, I guess it's six patches, not five. Um, I was wrong about that. And that uh, expansion is, uh, you really need to have something to defend it uh, against drops, and there are two bridges leading towards it, so it's not as easy to hold as, um, you know, expansions on modern maps are. And it looks like Grimtoll is also getting his natural expansion. Both of these expansions are would be considered quite slow in today's game. Um, usually players go uh, one gateway into expansion, or even 12 Nexus, and Terrans often go one factory directly into expansion before building anything. Um, and it looks like six Dragoons going down for Grimtoe here, and we'll see if he decides to go for an attack. He does have an Observer, so he's been able to deal with these mines. And it looks like Boxer actually doesn't have Siege Mode yet, or else he would be sieging these tanks, and he might find this difficult to hold. He might lose a tank here, but he does have three tanks, and I think that's enough to hold against this force with uh, some Marines. The Marines are getting killed now. Looks like one Dragoon goes down, uh, two Dragoons go down, and uh, looks like a tank goes down, so this could be a quite close battle, but I think both sides are going to lose their armies here, um, so I don't think either side is going to have a... a distinct advantage. It looks like Boxer's forced to retreat his tank, actually, and a dropship coming in for Boxer. Oh, this is really bad for Boxer. Oh, wow, that's terrible for Boxer. He lost his dropship there. Um, I think he might have been rally-pointed towards there or something, because there was no reason for that dropship to go there and get killed by the Dragoons. Now Boxer uh, giving away his tech and also just losing his first dropship. That's going to be a big hit for him. It looks like Grimto is going to lose all of his uh, Dragoons here, but um, and that's all right. He spotted uh, Boxer's tech and also killed Boxer's initial dropship, so I feel that I'd give Grimto a little bit of advantage right now in the overall game here. He knows what Boxer is doing, and Boxer really doesn't know what Grimto is doing. Um, and Boxer getting two more factories. I think his starport's actually creating another 